Hello and welcome back. Uh, our passage today is looking at Luke. When uh, the book of Luke, the gospel of Luke, when Jesus appeared to his disciples after he rose from the dead. Think of the shock! Well, the disciples were shocked. They were so confused and shocked that they even thought he was a ghost. Ah! A ghost! A ghost! Ah! Ah! Then Jesus proved to them that he was real, that he came back to life by showing them the hands that had the nails put through them and his feet that had the nails put through them on the cross when he died for them. Then Jesus opened their minds, which basically means he let them understand why he had to die and what they had to do now. And that is to go and tell everybody that they can find about what Jesus has done for us. Before uh, Jesus entered that room though, the disciples were frightened and confused and scared. What is happening? Yet when he entered the room, when Jesus came back into their lives, there was a sense of unity, calmness, peace and joy. Ah, this is the life. I wonder if you can think of a time when you didn't have Jesus in your life. And then think of a time where you now do have Jesus in your life. Or if you were brought up a Christian and Jesus is pretty much you've known your whole life. How about thinking of someone who does not know Jesus? Someone you know. And then think of someone you know who does know Jesus. There will be a huge difference between a life of someone who does not know Jesus and the life of someone who does. In the Bible, uh, we're given loads of examples of before and after, especially in the New Testament. Uh, one of those examples is Saul. Saul killed Christians. And yet, when Jesus came into his life, Saul became a Christian. When Jesus entered the life of Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus stopped stealing from people. And he gave it back to them. He knew he had done wrong and he turned and followed Jesus. Even the disciples, the disciples, most of them, were uneducated. They didn't know how to speak in public. They didn't. They weren't uh, viewed as being uh, clever uh, or bold or anything like that. And yet, when the power of the Holy Spirit came on the disciples, they stood up. They stood in front of many people, and they told them about Jesus, but not just about what they've experienced, about how that relates to what they know from the Old Testament. And people were shocked. These disciples had changed into a bold, bold people telling everybody why they should believe in Jesus. All of these examples show us that lives are changed when people encounter Jesus, the risen Lord. When we invite Jesus into our lives, he gives us his Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit gives us the fruits of the Spirit. Things like joy and peace, things like self-control and faithfulness, Things like love. Jesus gives us these things in order to live powerfully for him. In order to show others how he has changed our lives and what beauty that is to people. There should be a big change, a big difference between a non-Christian or when you weren't a Christian to 
when you become a Christian. Jesus tells the disciples to go and tell all people from all nations about him. And when we think about that, we may think, whoa, I can't go to Australia right now. We're in lockdown. And yet, doesn't have to start with the other side of the world because everybody needs Jesus. Think about the person next door. Think about your best friend. Think about your relative, your nan, anybody who is close to you who does not know Jesus. They can come encounter Jesus and have their lives changed for the better. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you that you come into our lives in a powerful way. I thank you that you change our lives for the better, that we may see that in other people who are Christian, and I pray that other people would see that in us. I thank you that you rose from the dead. I thank you that you are alive and that you reign and um, want to be with us at the same time. Uh, we pray this in Jesus' name and give us boldness to tell others about you. Amen. Challenge time then. Okay, all you need is a bit of paper and a pen. And then all you have to do is blindfold yourself and try and draw yourself. Uh, you can either do this with your friends so you draw each other or you can do it on your own <coughs> so you draw it yourself. Uh, remember you have to be blindfolded and have fun. Finish! How great the chasm that lay between us how high the mountain I could not climb In desperation I turned to heaven And spoke your name into the night Then through the darkness Your loving kindness Tore through the shadow of my soul The work is finished The end is written Jesus Christ my living hope Who could imagine so great a mercy What heart could fast such boundless grace The God of ages Stepped down from glory To wear my sin And bear my shame The cross has spoken I am forgiven The King of kings calls me Savior, I'm yours forever, Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah, praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah, death has lost its grip on me. Salvation in your name, Jesus Christ, my living hope. Then came the morning that sealed the promise. Your buried body began to breathe. 
Out of the silence, the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on me. Then came the morning that sealed the promise. Your buried body began to breathe. Out of the silence, the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on me. Jesus, yours is the It's grip on me.